Today, I experienced the latest in self-driving technology. Advanced drive activated. Ooh. There we go, we're driving. Hit the track, and Ken gets stuck on a rock. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that at all. And it's all thanks to our friends over at Toyota for sponsoring this video. So our friends over at Toyota invited us out to their headquarters for HQ Confidential, where they announced a number of new vehicles, but they also gave me a sneak peek at Teammates. To understand what makes Teammates special, you first need to understand how to classify a self-driving vehicle. Odds are the car you drive today is level zero, AKA you as a human have to do all of the driving yourself. Stepping up to level one is starting to become more common as it allows you to remove yourself somewhat from things like steering and acceleration. Think radar cruise control that handles the acceleration and braking along with the lane keep assist to mostly keep your car centered in the lane. Teammate is a step above this as it qualifies as level two. Here, the vehicle can not only accelerate, brake and steer, but it can also change lanes and even merge from freeway to freeway. It's very light touch. <laughs> that is really, really trippy. I'm not doing anything right now for the record. I'm keeping my hand touching the wheel, a very, very light amount of pressure so that it knows that I'm here, but it's doing all of this. There are a lot of sensors when it comes to using Teammate. There's LiDAR, there's a number of different radar, cameras, there's a lot of stuff going around the vehicle. But what it allows you to do, the driver, is to really experience what feels like a person is driving. I will say it is incredibly smooth. There's certainly systems that have some level of autonomy when it comes to driving but I found that none of them feel like you're being driven by a person. It's always a little bit how you're ping-ponging between the lanes. It, it never feels quite right. This feels incredibly smooth. Now it is important to note that you as the driver still need to be ready to take control at any time, but for most freeway driving, the only thing you really need to do is pay attention. The car can handle the rest. Teammate isn't some far future tech demo. While I drove in a prototype, this system will begin shipping later this year. Switching gears a bit, I also got a quick look at the Toyota BZ4X concept. This is Toyota's first fully electric vehicle in a very long time. Since this is a concept, sadly I couldn't drive it, but it is on a fast track to production. The BZ4X should be on sale mid-2022, and I'm very curious to see how it compares to other fully electric vehicles. All right, so today is the fun day. So we're out here at Toyota HQ, and the main goal of today is to experience some of the fine Toyotas that they've given us to try. Not only do we have a one-hour drive in whatever Toyota we would like, but on top of that, we get to do a little fun thing called a track day. Maybe never heard of it, but it's my favorite thing. The new Toyota GR86 is a big step forward. Not only does it look great in my opinion, but it's also got a big jump to not only power, but especially torque, thanks to the larger 2.4 liter engine, and it also happens to sound rad. While I was waiting for my turn in the GR86, I had to take a quick drive in the very fast Supra. I mean, come on, how often do you get a track day in someone else's car? All right, ready, and... Woo! There's a lot of grip in the Supra. Woo! And we're immediately coming around. God, it sounds so good! Yeah! There we go! Okay, tuck it in, swing wide. Uh, it's not a good line. It's not a good line! I'm sorry I can't show you what I'm looking at, but just trust me, it's very cool. And we're done. Wow. That's a signature identity. That's fun. Yeah, That's fun. fun. I'm like, okay, okay, whoa, okay, we got it. Dude. <laughs> I, I was... <laughs> yeah. All right. How you doing, sir? Great. Yeah. I, uh, I love that six cylinder Supra. Have oh, you driven in the GR86 yet? I have not. Consistent it's great. It is great. I, you, so you can't drive it. So you have to no, be oh, yeah, driven. Yeah, 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 but yeah. Ken Gushi gave me a ride and I was like, yeah. I want to see your face. Oh, that's stock? That's stock. Wow, that sounds great, dude. So I got a ride with Ken Gushi on the track with the GR86. And the thing is, there's some major improvements with this car. First of all, I like the way it looks. When I first saw the photos, it looked nice, but seeing it in person, seeing how they've really done away with any like fake grills, like all of this stuff is actually realistically doing something for the aerodynamics. Same thing behind the rear tires. I think it's a good looking vehicle, especially with the spoiler that comes on the premium model. But with the GR86, this is all about having a affordable, fun to drive sports car. And this thing on the track was seriously impressive, but there's a lot more than just the 86 here. So now that it's starting to rain, it is perfect for the next part of the day, which is going to be the off-road trail. Now, I've been told that this very stock SR5 looking Tacoma will be able to make the trail. So, uh, we'll see. Ken, have you ever been off-roading before? Nope. So this is, this is a trip of firsts. 
Wow, you've never wait. So you've never been off road like at all, at all. Well, I mean, I've driven my Corolla on a dirt road. <laughs> wait, Ken, why am I driving? You should be driving if you've oh, never off road. Can I? Well, you know what? We've got time. We'll do. We'll do two rounds. Oh, here's yeah. some wa water crossing time. Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell. Oh, this is, that was some deep stuff. We got oh. a deep stuff. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. oh god. <laughs> so I can tell there's very little traction because we don't have like full mud tires on this thing. So like I can feel like as I get on it, yeah, I just we're look, like sinking in. Look, like we basically can slip and slide just sitting right here. Straight flexing <laughs> on it right now. We're straight flexing. It's smooth, right? It's oh well. <laughs> this is the best day of work I've had in a while. <laughs> so for someone who's never off-roaded before, are you ready? I am ready. Um, this, oh my God, I can't even see out this window. So I've done years of doing off-road in video games. <laughs> I think I can get this. Just as a slight note, Austin is holding my phone. I trust myself to hold my phone more than I trust Austin to you hold want my me phone. You want me to stick it out the window like this? Uh, I, I, you can, there's just a lot of sharp rocks under you. And uh, I'm not, I don't have a case on that today. Uh, we're not sponsored by Rhino Shield for this video. That's a that's a future video. You got you got to punch it, okay? Commit. Where Commit. do I punch? When do, when do I punch it? Go 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 go! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's, those are guns. Those are guns. Those are guns. <laughs> you missed them. Best of luck. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can do this, right? Yeah. Uh, all all the way up. All Keep the way. Up. Keep going up. Yep. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. 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 Yeah. Hard right. Go pull all Ooh. the way up. There you go. All the way up on this guy. Yep. Lap. 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 Yeah. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. Oh. oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Cars are not supposed to do this. <laughs> uh, okay. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> gnarly shot of you with one wheel like three foot off the ground. Oh, let's go. Huge thank you to Toyota for having us out here and sponsoring this trip. And I am very excited to show you some of the other things that we'll be talking about very shortly. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm gonna go uh, borrow the GR86. I'll, I'll see you later.